Hi everyone, let's understand how we can measure normality of any data. So we both try to find out normality test and how we can resolve this normality. So first of all, we would understand I am taking this file and with the help of eViews, we are going to take the same file that I have used in multicollinearity and as well as auto correlation. And here is, these are my dependent and independent variables. GDP is my dependent variable and inflation is my independent variable. So let's open both these. And I am just opening this as an equation. And now you can see GDP inflation, this is the constant. Let me press OK. And these are my results. And uh, you can see here R squared, adjusted R squared, all these values. And uh, finally, we will go to the residual diagnostics and histogram normality test. Now you can see here, it is these, this one is the statistics you have, you will receive. Sample size that is 2000 to 2020 observations, total observations are 20. And this is the mean value and this is the median. And this one is the maximum value and this one is the minimum value. Standard deviation that is given, skewness already given, 0 0.44 and cutoffs is 2.66. So here is jar-q beta probability that would decide, right? Probability is jar-q beta is 0 0.768 and probability is 0 0.680. Our null hypothesis said this data is normally distributed. It means those are the errors. These are normally distributed. But our alternate hypothesis, those are the disturbances. These are not normally distributed. So here is probability value is less than 0 0.05. So in this case, if your probability value is less than 0 0.05, then alternate hypothesis will be accepted and null hypothesis will be rejected. But in this case, in our case, our probability value, it is greater than 0 0.05. So ultimately, what we can say, null hypothesis, we are failed to reject null hypothesis. That means we are accepting null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis is rejected. And as per null hypothesis, that said, null hypothesis said, there is, those are the disturbances, they have, they are normally distributed. Otherwise, we could say these these errors are not normally distributed. So I hope you understand how Jacubera test, we can understand whether the this data is normally distributed or not. So I hope this video will be helpful. So thank you. Keep watching. Stay tuned.